I'm Dan Gukin, author of these books on Word, and it's time for this week's bonus Word Tip. My busy period continues, so this is my weekly bonus bonus video. A few months back, Microsoft updated the Office 365 version of Word. One of the items they added is found on the View tab in the new Page Movement area, Vertical and Side to Side. These items control how the document is presented in the window. Vertical is the traditional presentation, what you use if you don't have an Office 365 subscription. Each page in the document appears vertically. In Print Layout View, you see the pages as you scroll. It's my guess that the side-to-side -side view was added to accommodate people who maximize Word's window on a widescreen monitor, which has a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. Switch to side-to-side -side and you see two pages left and right, and as you scroll, the pages flip which takes some getting used to. I always go for the mouse wheel to scroll, and it's really jarring for me when the pages flip because I'm used to the vertical arrangement. Now, if I summon the Styles pane and the Navigation bar, this is the way I prefer to use Word, and you see that the side-to-side -side presentation shrinks. In fact, the zoom control doesn't even exist. It's unavailable when you view a document side-to-side. -side. In order to accommodate the two pages, the document gets smaller on the screen. So you can make the window bigger if you want to see things better. This is fine for a high-resolution monitor, but here I've set the resolution low so that you can kind of see things better on YouTube. Now, I don't prefer to write this way. In fact, I prefer vertical view in draft mode for writing. You can just choose draft on the view tab to see what I do. Now this presentation provides fewer distractions for me, but for editing, I switch back to side to side. First, choose print layout so that side to side is available, then choose that item. I find this presentation great for editing because I get an overview of two pages, plus it works well on my widescreen monitor. My guess is that this feature will be available for all Word users in the next release. I don't know when that is, but until then, Microsoft will be incrementally updating Office 365, and I'll let you know what's going on as I see the changes. <laughs>